Happy Christmas, everyone! Find them already? Um, what are they doing? Read the thing. What? Read the thing. Read the thing. Elf kisses free. Um, you two. I thought you were more like brother and sister. That's gross. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How many kisses have you had, Mistletoe? Have you been living up to your name? Oh, look at Bob. Bob's on magic. Oh, look at Horry. Horry's my spud. I hate to break up the kissing booth part right? but uh, the cooker's about to be used, so we're going to have to gently move you, I'm afraid. Sorry. Oh, Jingles, you're still behaving. I'm very impressed at you. I am reckoning you'll be free on Thursday, Jingles. 13? We ready? 13 days to go, 13 days till Santa, come on! Ooh, it's a long thin one. Look at the washing lying down near Missy's. What on earth is that? Make your own crackers. Make your own crackers? Oh, fab. Why do you do this so early on the weekend? <laughs> Just to annoy you. No, it's so stupid. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, have you got the same? Mm -hmm. Let's see your ones. Make your own crackers. The same. Rudolph ones. Oh, it's a big one. Ooh. What's it say today, Abby? Can't promise that, I'm afraid. Can't promise that, I'm afraid. Okay, that seems quite pretty tame. Oh, a fabric. Place your hot mug on the coaster for 60 seconds to reveal your house. Oh, you'll need to try that later and see if it does come up with Slytherin. Knowing that calendar, it'll be Huff and Puff. Huff all Puff. All right. Or Raver Claw. Whatever it is. I have been there for over 12 days. I know. What is it? Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw. Right, okay. advent swap with Laura. So as you can see I've not got an envelope here, I've got one of the boxes that they came in because unfortunately the numbers have fallen off the last two envelopes. So I have got two envelopes here and two numbers but I'm not sure which is which. So Laura I'm just going to go, go with the flow and I'm going to make the snowman one day 12 and the gorgeous starry paper day 13. I don't know if that's the right way around or not, Laura, but please forgive me. I'm just going to go with it. <laughs> so I'll put that away for tomorrow. We're going to say that today is, this one is day 12, the snowman. So let's see what we've got. Right, well, I have to start with this one. Would you look at that gorgeous little deer? Look at Rudolph. That is absolutely gorgeous. He's got baubles hanging on his antlers. He's so sweet. Oh, it's double-sided. I love that. Oh, now, I've got a dilemma because I want to say that that would be perfect for a card, but it's actually a bauble. So I'm going to hang him on my tree. I'm not, I've said it now, but I'm definitely going to hang him on my tree, Laura. He is gorgeous. Thank you. Oh, we've got a different butterfly today. We've got a gorgeous felt butterfly in a, a lovely blue colour. That is really sweet. It's double layered. Can you see? That is lovely. 
Look at the penguin. Oh, I've still got something perfect for the Christmas card. <laughs> Look at that. That is so well done. It's all in different layers. Did you make that, Laura? That is brill. Oh, another gorgeous little pussy cat. It's a wee gold one. Oh, that's lovely. I still want a cat. Chocolate coin. Is it a double sided? It's double sided again. Yeah, I'm getting more luck. <laughs> Beer monster again, Laura? I don't know. And we've got some more tags. I need to lift this one first because I love silver. Can you see it? Silver glittery. That's gorgeous. <coughs> got that lovely one. Oh, that's got some pretty paper on the other side. Another sort of postage stamp shaped one. I like them. And another big blank tag. I am loving how my stash is growing, Laura. Thank you so much. I honestly can't wait to be able to sit down and play with all these things and get lots of journals made. Hi everyone, welcome to our Crazy Life Scotland and Vlogmas Day 13. I hope it's not unlucky for anyone. And what did you think of those elves this morning? Mistletoe living up to his name by standing in the kissing booth giving out free kisses. And he was Full on snogging Elsa this morning. I thought they were like brother and sister, but I hope not. <laughs> but you might have heard Abby complaining during the advent uh, opening that, why are you doing it so early even on the weekend? Well, it's because that the elves don't realise that Jack likes to cook early on the Saturday morning and he needed the cooker. So we have to get up early. Plus, I need to get on with my day and I can't do that until we found these blooming elves. So... Abby just has to suck it up. She can go back to her bed, which she is actually. She's still in her bed. Um, and Brooke has cleaned that room. Sorry about her pile of washing sitting there. I got her to tidy her room straight after we finished filming that bit. So she's chilling out back in her bed now. So in their advents today, the girls both got make your own crackers, which is fab because... I love crackers that you personalise, you put your own little gifts in. So we've already got something from the Christmas market that the girls can both put in um, Granny Annie's cracker. And I'll pick up a wee thing today from Home Bargains, hopefully, for in my dad's crackers and in Jack's crackers. And the girls can get whatever they want for in mind. They, they can keep that a surprise and we'll make them at some point. Um, might actually do it as a vlogmas video, that would be quite fun. And in the Harry Potter one, Brooke got a coaster, which is a colour change one, so you put your hot mug on it and it tells you what house you're in. You'll never guess what it came up with. It wasn't Slytherin. It was Raven's Claw. Raven Claw? Oh, I don't know what it's called. But anyway, that's what it was. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> It's a bit weird. That's us halfway through it now. So it'll be interesting to see if we start getting Gryffindor and Slytherin things from tomorrow. You might have noticed as well when the dogs were getting theirs that both Clyde and Rannoch refused one of the treats, which was really strange. They both took a different one, but they wouldn't take that one. Molly ate it because Molly eats anything. But I wonder if it was a different smell. It was maybe a different flavour or something. But they both turned their nose up at it and it was really, really unusual. Really weird. I thought maybe they were feeling off colour, but they ate ones out the other calendar. So, yeah, a bit strange. Yes, I'm talking about you, but you don't need to come and join in. Okay? You really don't. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm going to go and give them a chicken wing and then I'll get peace. Hold on. Right, I thought I would just finish this little segment off here because if I go back through there, you'll hear them crunching their chicken wings and nobody needs to be hearing that. So I'm just going to tell you what we're up to today in today's Vlogmas. We are going through to Camlin, which is a little village near Falkirk where Granny Annie was born and brought up and I lived there for a while as well when I was younger. And it is the Camelon Winter Festival today, which I've mentioned in some of my other vlogs because Granny Annie, it's her project throughout the year. She loves it. She loves Christmas anyway, and she loves giving at Christmas. She gives all year, but especially at Christmas. So the Winter Festival is basically put on for the kids of Camelon, and it's particularly aimed at kids that don't really have much. Usually it's held in the community centre where my mum's a chairperson, but Obviously, this year the community centre's not open because of COVID, so they had to come up with a different idea. There's usually all sorts of entertainment on in all the different rooms, and there's a Santa visit and all the rest of it, but 
it has to be different this year. So what they decided to do was they have still got Santa coming, but he's going to be on a carriage pulled by horses, or I'm not sure if it's one or two horses, but it's hopefully going to be brilliant. So yeah, the horse and Santa are going to go around the, all the streets of Camlin between today and tomorrow, and they are going to be giving the kids of the area a little gift. Now, it's all been done safely. The gifts have all been treated according to COVID guidelines. So I think they were having to put them in a bag at least 72 hours before today so that they're quarantined, if you like. Um, and obviously the kids won't be going right up to Santa or anything like that. Santa and the L going to be wearing the masks that you saw in a previous vlog that was made by Kaylee, And the gifts are all going to have the stickers on them that Christine kindly gifted us. And it is a charity event. A lot of it is funded by the National Lottery Charity and they also do other fundraising throughout the year for it as well. As far as I'm aware, all of the kids, because we don't know like who's going to be girls and boys and age groups and all the rest of it, I think Santa's given all of the kids a selection box and a £5 Smith's voucher. That's what I think he's going to give. It might not be that, but I will let you know. So we are so looking forward to it. Obviously, with me being in the wheelchair, I'm not going to be going round with them because I would be exhausted by the end of the first street. But my mum and the other elves are going to be walking round and Brooke and Abby are going with them. Not for the full time because they would moan that they were exhausted because I think it's four hours today and four hours tomorrow that they're walking. So they'll be there for a wee while and I'm hoping that they might even get a shot in the sleigh with Santa in the carriage. So we will see what happens. So I'm really, really keeping my fingers crossed that I managed to get some good footage for you because I think it's going to be so cute. And while they are away doing that, I am going to go to Home Bargains and I am going to see if I can pick up little bits and pieces to put in the crackers and any other just little last minute bits and pieces so hopefully I will be able to show you what I get if it's just a few things I'll show you in this video but if I get a, quite a lot I will show you in a different vlog so I'll do a, a separate haul and we'll hopefully be going for some lunch or dinner at some point we might just go to McDonald's because I'm going to go to Asda today on the way home rather than having to go out tomorrow because tomorrow's vlogmas I'm planning to um, make a recipe which might be a disaster, but we'll see. You know what I'm like in the kitchen. Terrible. But hopefully it will turn out okay. So that is the plan for today. I just wanted to let you know I've got my Christmas jumper on already. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited for it. I can't wait. I really can't wait to... I wish I was going round with them so I could see the kids' faces when they see um, Santa and the horse. I mean, obviously they can't go right up to them. The elves will be leaving the parcels for the parents to pick up or the kids to pick up but I just think their pitch, their faces would be amazing oh, I wish I could see it but Granny Annie is so looking forward to it as you can imagine and so are the girls so I will catch up with you in a little while once we get through to Camelot well we have arrived at the centre and the horse is here it's not quite hooked up to the carriage yet but I'm going to show you and Granny Annie and all the other elves are here, so I'm going to turn you around and let you see. Here they are. You won't recognise them. There's Donna. I love it. There's Millie. Hi. Hi. There's Hi. Granny Annie. Yay. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> There's Emma. There's the carriage. How gorgeous is that? It is so sweet. I think Brooke's round at the horse. I'm going to go find her. Hello Tinker. Hello lovely. Oh. What do you think, Brooke? This will be you in your element. There's Liz. I don't think my viewers have met you before, Liz. Hi. That's my mum's cousin. So my sister. Your sister, yeah, right. Another nutter. <laughs> yes, another nutter, that's true. Auntie Elizabeth. Auntie Elizabeth. Right. She's uh, Abby's favourite auntie, but don't tell Auntie Mary that. All oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Not 
Yeah, it's so okay to say that because Auntie Mary's in the hospital the day, so she can't <laughs> hit her. <laughs> she might watch her because she's got the day. Oh, oh, true. We just need Santa now. Oh, he is absolutely gorgeous, isn't he? <laughs> Who's needing the tenner lady? I hope you've got yours on. I've got mine on. <laughs> Annie Annie is taking no chances. She has her tenner ladies, but uh, well, it says discreet, you're no. No, definitely no discreet. <laughs> <laughs> your avocado t shirt on, let him see. Yay! I go Merry Christmas. <laughs> Millie, where's your Christmas jumper? Oh, Look at the tights! You're a batty! <laughs> They're for somebody a normal size! <laughs> to walk the streets of Camlin. So that's them heading off. I've got a couple of hours now. I'm going to go home bargains and maybe even Aldi because they're right next to each other. And then I will go and pick them up. So Abby is on the carriage with Santa for the first hour and then Brooke's getting on it for the second hour. So hopefully I will catch Brooke on it on the way back. I don't know if I managed to catch any of Santa. It was all such a rush at the, the last minute. So um, yeah, some people and kids turned up and wanted photos with Santa, socially distanced of course. So it was a very last minute rush because they've, they've obviously got a strict time that they need to keep to. But yeah, oh, it's so exciting. And um, just w watching them going off there, there was a lot of people coming out to see what was going on and things. And it's just so lovely, so lovely that the kids are still getting to see Santa, even although the whole horrible year that we've had. Oh. Right, so I'm going to go to Home Bargains and I'll catch up with you soon. So, it's a bit dark now. Um, it's all, it's just four o'clock. I've arrived at the pickup point for the girls and I actually arrived here earlier um, because I was going to do some vlogging. But the guy, it's a, it used to be like a pub type thing that we used to use for our line dancing. Um, and he's changed it to like a community hub and he came out and said oh come in and see what we've done and it's amazing the amount of stuff the amount of toys I've got rooms just chock full of toys that people that need it can just come along and pick them up and you know not charge a penny absolutely amazing so I got too busy yapping so it's now quite dark I apologize for that I am very quickly going to do the oh I've just locked the car I'm very quickly going to do the crazy Christmas karaoke because I do need to uh, while I've still got light I'm not going to do a haul I, I got some bits and pieces from Home Bargains and from Aldi but I'll do them in a separate haul so yesterday's answer was it was five vlogmases four calling birds three french hens two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree so it was three french hens was it 
Yeah, three French hens was the answer. Um, so well done if you got that right. Today, there is only one fitting song for today, and that is Jingle Bell Rock. So let's go for... Um, what a bright time, it's the right time to rock the night away. Jingle bell time is a swell time. So, um, what's going on today should definitely give away this line. So, from Jingle Bell Rock, let's see how many people get that right. So, Jingle Bell. Here comes Abby. On this cold December day, we are on our merry way. Riding along, just singing a song, barreling through the snow. Bells are jingling, snowflakes tingling, Rudolph knows where to go. On this cold December day, I am piloting my sleigh The work to be done on my Christmas run Is the most tired chore No girl or boy without a toy So giddy up, root of my dear Thank you so much for watching this everybody I don't know how long it's going to be but hopefully I'll manage to cut it down a bit please don't forget to comment down below with your karaoke answer and just saying hello to me let me know what you think of Santa and his sleigh oh it's so sweet and um, I will see you tomorrow for vlogmas day 14 thanks very much everyone bye remember to be kind to each other Santa's watching